So now let's see how we can work around with hair parameters for our character. And I'm just going to click on the object for that and I'm on my texture tab as you can see. So over here under the basic parameters where there are detail that you can work with, there's normal intensity and roughness, there's color that you can choose as well. So on color, you can choose the hair color that you wish. For example, you can go over here, select something like an unnatural color and there you go, the hair color changed out just like that. You can change out the hue as you can see, so that changes out the color of the hair. You can change the saturation so you can really make it bright or you can bring down the saturation just like that and just give a subtle effect right over here. Luminosity is the level of brightness onto the hair right over there and contrast is the difference between black and white as you can see right over here. You can really have a contrasting hair. You can also have a highlight offset as you can see so it changes out right over here as you can see you can work around with the highlight offset right over there. So highlight offset right over here, just like that, intensity and so forth. So I can change around as you can see right over here. So the other one is uh, streaks visibility as well as you can see. And the so streaks width right over there. You can change around the hue of the streak as well and give it a bit of an effect as you can see right over there as well. You can also change around the streaks highlight and streak lightness right over here. So you can see a bit of a streak all over as you can see right over here. It's not very, um, let's say, not really, really plain right over there. There's some extras as well. So you can change out extra hues right over here and change out a bit. There's like a subtle change right over here. There as you can see right over here when you work around with the extras. And that's how you work around with it. Of course, you work around with the texture resolution as well. So not just for the hair, you can also work around with the same parameters for beard and mustaches. So let's, let's just go over here into uh, the clothing section. I'm going to add in, let's say for example, a mustache, although uh, it does not look good for this character. Let me just go around and add in a beard as well. So just like for hair, I can go around and select the beard right over here, go into texture, change around the color of the beard. Let's say for example, I'm going to go with blue right over here. Can change the hue shift, I can change the saturation, the luminosity and so forth as you can see right over here. Same goes for the mustaches, I can add in a bit of a streak. I can change the color right over here. You can see that I really have a colorful character now. And that is how you work around with the hair parameters inside of Adobe Fuse. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.